If I go to the punch, but not use the technique. You might punch me, I might do this, I'll be punching it for you, go again, from here, you see, oh, every movement is from the ACTM towel. But most people think it's punching, punching, punching. So therefore, why do you learn all these other ACTM towel form movements and just do punching? You're all there for a reason. So if I think in this area only, your hooks are covered. Good. Now you see, from hooks are you can up. Good, then pre punch. Now you see, we still keep in the, in the room of hitting the body. But you fork and punch high. Now you see. <laughs> yeah? We both get hit. That's what we're going to hit. Yeah. But when you hit fork and you love, he controls my body. Mm -hmm. And he punch this, this area. Good. Did the other side fork? Now you see. So you see luck again? And you see punch. Yeah. And fork again. Now you go punch high. Now you see. <laughs> yeah, alright? <laughs> but you punch low. You cut. You Cut me and hold the structure. You see, so folks are folks are from here in the end towel. But you've got many ways of doing fork, indoor and outdoor. What is this fork up? Indoor and outdoor is both. So when I cut rubber, he will fork. That's one fork. Yeah. Yeah. From the, from the um, outside. Then I say fork up. This one. Good. The outside. This one is a muscle. That's outside. It was inside. Don't fork this one first. Now this one, this one first. Good. Now you see. So from this fork side, you've got many situations. Mm. Yeah? You can pull me. Yeah. yeah? Now punch. Pull. Uh, and yeah. elbow. No? How about the other one? How about the other one? Good. What's good? Yeah. You punch me. I can pull here. Yeah? Yeah. Now, if I pull the other side, go again. Pull. Pull. What's good? Okay. Yeah? So when you punch, punch me, pull. Yeah? From here? Yeah. yeah. I will go straight. So you go down the fork, fork, and pull to unbalance you. Then you see it gone, then you see it. Yeah? So, yeah, many variations yeah. of moving sides, fork, sides. sides. Mm. Yeah. And then, if the person is really strong, I will pack you, your fork out and end. Good, then you see. So, then you can come through, you can come through. Chop, yeah? Big punch. Or you can fork again, and, and, you, and even the hand come out, you luck. Good. Be careful. Yeah. All right. All right. Okay. Okay. No. Good. Now you see. So when folks are, you have many variations. Good. Three punch. Good. Okay. Good. Okay. Now pucks are puck. Good. So when you puck, come really close, skill. So you see the puck shape. Okay? When you puck, he's got to check all points. Here, here, and here, here. Some people leave this alone. Alright, so you believe that he can feel the sensitivity of the other arm, or you should um, contact the arm completely. Exercise, we keep the arms here so you can feel both arms. So when he pucks, the drill, he checks. But if I move my arm away, puck again, well, I'll do this. He will hit me with the other arm. Because he finds something that's missing. Good, good. There you see. So you see, this is this exercise can condition the body and the mind to react in any dim situation. Yeah? So, okay, here, Rob. Good. Now you see, come here. Mm. Now, if I move away from Rob, he will still punch this way. Or, okay, here, Rob. Now, what's going to I punch this way now. Yeah. Good. So all these movements change, it depends on your partner. What your partner does, he will detect you, tell you what way to go. So, puck your rock. Good, three punch. Now, if we go over the hand, everything's getting puck. Good, three punch. Everything's getting sticky. Puck. So, sticky means you have contact with the arms. Uh, and we're rolling and stick it at the same time. But also means cross hands. So, when the hand meets to cross, then he puck. Or, he goes straight away into puck. So, sometimes people's arms come up. Then you puck. And then punch, and then you puck. Yeah, then go again. Good. But you miss it wrong. You miss it, then you get the hit. You've got to catch it right spot. So we, we've got to say that here. The, the head and the towel. If you touch the head, the towel will hit you. If you touch, the, um, if you touch the, the towel, the head will hit you. So you have to get right spot in the middle. The snake will bite you both sides. Yeah, so, but if you, sometimes people come here, we hit you here, some people come here, we hit you here. Even you pups are really fast. 
you still get hit. You imagine hit me here, but I also hit you here. Yeah? So if you catch this right point, and you see, I'll come down nowhere. And you see the punching is with control. Obviously, if you knock me down, who's going to practice with? No one. Yeah? No one will practice with him. So we're practicing to learn. So when I punch Rob now, then you see punk. But people might say, how about the other arm? So you see the same thing. So you practice on both sides because you can't say what person, the person will punch you left or right. So you practice both sides, yeah, but you still have to have the same position. Yeah? Now this is what we call tucked in, the outdoor park, like the outdoor and the indoor. The outer when you go outside the house and the inner when you go inside the house. But say I'm bigger than him, he will learn to go outside. I'm bigger than him, he'll learn to go outside. Now some people say maybe he can punch really fast. What he does, he punches once. Yeah, this way. You see, in and out. 